what is a mango fast? The mango fast is when you just eat mangoes. Mango fast. A fast is um, generally, I guess in the true sense of the word, is when you're not eating. It's like when you break fast breakfast, break fast, is you're breaking your overnight fast. So fast is when you basically are not eating or drinking. But there are different types of fasts and say there's a there's a no food or water fast. Now if you're gonna do without water and you don't want it, you wanna be really careful, you don't wanna be in the hot sun, you don't wanna be dehydrating dehydrating yourself too quickly because all the body functions work on water. So you really we have to be after a spiritual quest in the sense the true Hebrew fast, when you can look at the days of Nineveh, they without food or drink. Three days. But a fast could be uh, just without food and plenty of water. You can eat just one kind of food throughout the day with water, right? And so what I'm going to do here with the mangoes, just the mango. Now the advantage of just staying with one food is the body does not get confused in the sense that it has to continually work to, to, uh, to break down and digest and simulate these nutritions in, into the body. And the body has to decipher, produce enzymes uh, upon taste. When we start to taste the food, the body starts to produce the enzymes. The tongue, the enzymes are produced in the alkaline juice that comes from the, in the saliva. And so if you have so many varieties going in, um, then the body uh, is confused as actually what enzymes to produce. When we have just the one variety, then it's very easy for the body to say, hey, this is what he's eating. It's easy for us to produce the enzymes specifically for that, and then you get the maximum value of that food. But if you're going to mingle it with three or four different varieties, um, although you can't live your life on one food because you still need to do food combining, when you abstain from food or just go on a, a living food, like um, the mango or anything that's alive, all fruits and veggies are alkaline in nature. And so when you're eating just alkaline food, you're going to feel really, really hungry unless you're not, if you're, if you're eating a lot of cooked food, uh, just to go to a living food, an alkaline food, a raw food, you're going to feel like hungry, maybe nauseated. And it's not so much that you're hungry, it's just that when we eat the raw food, the body starts to go into a cleanse. It starts to, pur it starts to pur purge uh, toxins from the body. And when these toxins are being released through the cleansing process, you feel all oh, nauseated and if you're all oh, hungry, I'm going to die if I don't eat. And you start to feel it in your stomach and because we've, been eating for so long and as soon as we get a little bit of God feeling in our on our belly then right away we shut it down with food and so we, we our mind identifies oh feeling in the stomach means we're hungry and yes in, in a sense we are hungry because we should eat every five or six hours to keep the body going but the old cowboy in the days of the Western days Western movies, the cowboy well, at least on the TV, he could go days without eating. You know, in a true sense, yeah, they could have went days without eating and not felt the hunger for food like we do today because as soon as we stop eating, then the body immediately wants to say, hey, come on, I'm going to go on a cleanse now. You've been stuffing, 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 and now uh, let's, let's, can we do some cleaning up? And so as soon as you eat that food, regardless of what kind of food it is, the body shuts down that cleanse and immediately the toxins that are being released from the different parts of the body, from livers, kidneys, stored everywhere, basically, um, they're, start, they're, they're released into the blood and then until the blood is, until they're actually captured, um, thrown into the colon for, for uh, discharge, um, you're going to feel nauseated. Um, so even if you, and one time I have a story where I was fasting, and on this particular fast, I, um, I was eating nothing but water, you know, eating nothing but drinking water, and I was, that day I decided to walk around the zoo and get my exercise fresh air and look at the captured animals. 
Some zoos are good in the sense that they, they, they do take care of animals that would otherwise not survive. And those are the kind of zoos that you want to support. Um, but anyway, so I was so sick. And on the way home, traveling, I, my, it was quicker for me to stop at my brother's place and to ask if there was any, anything to eat. Because I knew from experience that if I ate, then automatically I would, uh, I would shut down the cleanse. So I, when I opened the car door, I could not walk. I actually crawled out of the car. <laughs> I crawled across the street, looked both ways for, for traffic, and if people were looking at me, I couldn't get up. I tell the story in my book, Divine Power, Human Strength. You can, you can get it on, online on Amazon.com. I hope to have it on my own website soon. Um, and so then when I, he was not home, but the door was open, I walked in there, I saw a bag of potato chips, and salt and vinegar potato chips. I took a mouthful of potato chips, and instantly I felt good, I felt strong. I was able to get up and walk, walk to the car. The nauseation was gone. And why? Because I had shut down that toxic release of fasting, you see. And so I continued the fast on. Every year I fast, uh, at least once a year and more often. More often in the past, but I did lose a lot of body weight. To the years of fasting which i don't like to do it too much anymore and i'm hoping to bring bring this body weight back on um so what i was trying to say here is that if you're fasting um on just a, a single variety then yeah the body is gonna the body is gonna say hey this is this is good this is really good and, and so hey we can cleanse ourselves on this one piece of food here and especially if it's alkaline because the cooked stuff's hard to break down. The body says, no, no, we can't do any cleansing. We're so busy processing this food, this overcooked food, this toxic food, this MSG and all these other chemicals, preservatives, colorings, sugars that are in the food. I mean, the high fructose sugar, the body just cannot go on a cleanse. So... If you want to just take a simple food like mango and take a day out, eat this food, your body will still get some calories, some get up and go, and um, it'll have, yeah, it'll have some nourishment. Know that it will, it will cleanse simultaneously. It will take maximum value from that single food. So just a little bit on fasting and um, mango fasting. So here we're going to enjoy this mango. Beautiful, beautiful food here and in the country. It's so beautiful. I see so much of this stuff falling to the ground. <laughs> it shouldn't. Mm, mm. It shouldn't fall to the ground, but it does because mm, it's just not properly harvested. I mean, when you go to the market, I paid. I paid actually good money for these mangoes. I've actually picked mangoes up the ground for free too. Depends on the season. So, I want to thank you for joining me on uh, my video in Costa Rica here. Please feel free to check out my website, uh, abetterwayhealthministries.com. Thank you for joining me on this video.